Hi everybody, Reaganite71 here. Thought I'd give you a quick update. This will probably be the last time you see these plants in the cups. I've been having to put it off and put it off and put it off as far as being able to plant them because of the uh, crazy weather we have, we've been having. I mean, it's just been a crazy spring all over the country. Uh, last year, you could get the plants in the ground really early. Not so this year. It's been rainy or it's been really cold. Uh, and then you get a few nights in the 50s and you think, oh, maybe. But then if you look at the long-range forecast, you see stuff coming up that just makes you go, no, I can't do it yet. I can't put them in the ground. Uh, right now, the temperature is almost 80 degrees. We've got severe weather coming in tonight into tomorrow and really cold weather behind that. I'm talking like 31 degree night and then a 34 degree night and then a 38 degree night. You put tomatoes in the ground like that, you're liable to stun them if you don't have, uh, have a greenhouse and a way to keep them warm. And I don't have the uh, convertible built for my beds, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. But the growth has been phenomenal. We're talking five to six weeks of growth here from seeds that reminds me, I've got a new blog that I'm uh, building. I just started working on it yesterday. So it's a work in progress, but I've got some links up there, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, it's reaganite71.blogspot.com, and I've got a link up to the place where I got my uh, organic heirloom seeds and uh, some other neat uh, links as well that I'll show you here in a minute. But they are just growing like crazy. Someone asked me uh, earlier when I transplanted, what did I put them in? Or what did I uh, transplant them into? Well, of course, I put them into cups, but I used a one third mixture of compost, completed compost, and then also a one third of uh, coconut core and a third of moisture control potting soil. And of course, the other thing that I've been doing is uh, using these grow boxes. Rubbermaid containers that I lined with aluminum foil and did the little cheap uh, grow light assembly on the top lids and had foil on the top lids to maintain all of that light inside and not let it escape. And it, uh, it's kept them warm, it's kept them, uh, given them plenty of light and they're doing really well. What I've done now for today is I've actually pulled everything out that way I could give it water it could drain through the cups and it wouldn't pool inside of my containers but uh, my watermelons are doing good I use some taller 20 ounce styrofoam cups for the watermelons and the taller stuff got cauliflower going this is my okra I had a viewer uh, I had some yellowing issues going on with that. Gave them some uh, Epsom salt and the magnesium in it. Took care of it. And then I've got sweet banana peppers right there. I've got a whole host of bell peppers. And then over here I've got some jalapenos and a couple of little Tabasco peppers. These things have flat grown out of their grow boxes. That's a pumpkin right there. And then we've got zucchini and squash. Look at that. And over here, cucumbers. And your eyes aren't deceiving you, they've gone into bloom. <laughs> How about that? I think they like the compost. Gotta get them in the ground soon. And look at this little bad boy over here. Already got the tendrils going out. <laughs> We're going to get these in the ground uh, probably 
maybe Thursday, but probably Friday. I was looking at the AccuWeather's uh, month-long forecast, and they give you uh, projected lows. And that looks like that Friday is going to be the last of it, so Friday at the latest. I just hope the, uh, they don't suffer root-bound issues, but I'm telling you, with this compost, they're pretty doggone happy. What a difference 24 hours makes. Exactly 24 hours later, and here we are at 42 degrees. Ain't that great. Well, it's a few hours later, and now we've had a storm front move through with lightning and massive buckets of rain coming down. And the temperatures dropped to 40 degrees. Let's see how the garden is faring, though. It's a little bit wet out here. Ever since we brought the uh, front end loader tractor in, it really compressed the soil, and now we've got uh, we've got water that likes to stand. So I'm going to have to French drain or do something here. I'm glad I didn't plant yesterday. <laughs> Supposed to get down into the very low 30s tonight. One of the upcoming projects I plan on doing this season is turning my rainwater barrel into a compost tea barrel with fresh dechlorin unchlorinated water. So stick around for that. That should be uh, interesting. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of screen for this so that stuff that gets blown in and Stuff that comes down from the uh, gutter up there won't go ahead and get into the tea. But that way I'll be able to uh, turn the spigot and pour compost tea straight into my uh, watering cans. That'll be great. I thought I would also show you my water filter that I got in from Boogie Brew. It's the Boogie Blue water filter. Good for up to 35,000 gallons of water an entire season. I've got it all set up. I've got the black filter set up ahead of it because we've got a lot of sediments in our water and I want to catch that before it gets into this. So, And I can pull that one out and clean it. This one, if it gets in there, it's going to stay. So I've got that rigged up there. Ready to rock and roll. I just need some warm weather. That's what I need and I bet you do too, don't you? Here's how my plants are getting by under the old lights here. I had to rig something special up for the sunflowers there. And then over here, good Lord, would you look at that? Look at that. I'm going to turn you sideways here. Don't get nauseous on me. How about them apples? Or tomatoes. By the way, if you like watching YouTube videos and you've got an Xbox, you can get an app for the Xbox that'll actually play YouTube videos right on your television. There's a little Wrangler star there. It's nice to be able to watch YouTube videos on the big screen. How about that? We had to rig up some shoe boxes to raise the lights there. Keeping them warm and toasty. I just hope they're not getting badly root bound. I'm going to have to raise this one tonight. Those leaves are getting dangerously close to the light bulbs and we know what happens when that, when that goes. But as you can see, the, the foil inside of these rubber maze reflects that light back. And the plants just really thrive off of that. I leave them cracked a little bit and can it off to the side so that we don't get too much heat build up in there. And in the case of some of them, I don't have to worry about it at all because they're raised way up. Back here at the, the old base station I started off with, I've got cantaloupes growing and ground cherries and, and a strawberry or two in there to go with the other ones. Well, I've had a lot of folks tell me I need to have a blog 
and they want me to get a Facebook page so that we can share photos, videos, comment back and forth and all of that. So a couple of nights ago I started the blog. It's at reaganite71.blogspot.com. It's just a blogger blog. So I have one link that's uh, grass to compost in 10 days. This is the drunken compost recipe that a lot of y'all are already familiar with. You can click on the link and you can actually get the list of ingredients right there on your computer. Uh, and I go through and talk about basically the process for creating it. And I've got the video there uh, and the follow-up. The neat thing about the blog, I've also got one for the all-purpose uh, lawn and garden green-up tonic using the 20-gallon hose and sprayer all of the ingredients and then the video that that goes with it but the neat thing about this site is something else let me show you that over on the right hand side of the the blog i've got a collection of links things that i have links that i like to collect i'm a big link collector when it comes to good information or good sources for things that i might need in the garden and i've got a google search up above you're welcome to use also but uh, the gardening links under, underneath are really good. Uh, let's take a look at one of them. This is an insect identification website. I'll zoom you back out here. But this is a list of pest problems that you might have in the garden and then biological solutions for them. Uh, ants, aphids, uh, army worms, beetles, all kinds of stuff. And then the good things that you can use on the other side. But a lot of times we get insects in the garden, we're not sure about what they are, and it'd be nice to be able to identify them. And this is a place where you can come through here and you can identify uh, what it is you got crawling around or flying around in your garden. Another dandy thing on here, whoops, uh, the tomato problem solver. This is from uh, Texas A&M Agriculture. Uh, in Arkansas, we make a lot of Aggie jokes, but if they know one thing, it's agriculture and uh, how to deal with problems and, uh, and do really good, uh, good work on farms and gardens. But this is a tomato problem solver and it'll uh, you give you a specific list of tomato disorders. You click on it and then it'll give you solutions. So that's a good thing. Another thing that I've done is uh, other resources they have. The Aggie resources page, vegetable resources has got a ton of great PDF files and information. Even if you wanted to start a commercial greenhouse or, or do greenhouse, they've got, they've got resources for that. Uh, the Bio Gardener Forum is, uh, a lot of people speak highly of that. I've got a link up to them. Uh, and then places where you can get like uh, frost blankets for your garden, uh, the cheap uh, boogie blue filter. Uh, I've got a link up for that. Old Farmer's Almanac, where I got my heirloom seeds. I've got that listed and a lot more. So there's all kinds of goodies on the blog there. If you have some time, stop by, check it out. I would appreciate that. And I did one more thing also. Like I said, I've been told make a Facebook page. And so I've done that. I'm on Facebook. All you got to do is search Reaganite 71 and you'll find it there and we can uh, talk back and forth, swap photos, and uh, uh, I'm sure we'll get lots of uh, chain email <laughs> uh, like this uh, pictures too. <laughs> People love sending those out, don't they? And so here's the Facebook page. Um, you'll definitely be able to tell that it's me. So far I've got one whopping like. That's because I just set it up early this morning. Um, but uh, I've already been uploading some videos and a couple of pictures and uh, a lot of the videos that seem to be really popular I've gotten uploaded. So I've got those on there, but I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to network with you and others um, so that we can share more good information about gardening and do it in real time. You know, there's a delay in, fa in YouTube to, to making a video and then editing it and uploading it. This, I can, uh, I'll get email updates on this and the blog when somebody posts, and so I can uh, come right in and answer it right away, and uh, we can go back and forth. So there it is. Maybe, uh, maybe after I get this video uploaded, my likes will go up a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> One of the other nice things about Facebook is a lot of your 
favorite YouTube garden channels are on here and you can go around and like them and and network with a lot of us uh, Wisconsin vegetable gardeners uh, MHP gardener grow fresh organics now this is a place and I've got a link up on my blog to them also this is our local organic store that offers Accelerite, Azomite, they'll, they'll break it down into smaller packages and ship it to you if you like. And they also have the trellis clips uh, that I started using last year that Bobby over at MHP Gardener has been using. Um, 15 cents a piece for them. They'll bag you up a, a Ziploc baggie of them and ship them to you. Uh, and let me show you something else that I got from them that I'm really excited about. Can't really get this at Walmart but these big air stones. This is a four inch oxy stone, a buck 95 at Grow Fresh. A heck of a deal. And uh, like I said, they'll ship it to you. I'll, uh, I'll look up their phone number. His website, he does have a website and you can click over to it and get, get information there. Uh, he doesn't update the, uh, the shopping cart and the items available. Uh, very often he does from time to time, but Paul over there will uh, take care of you if you give him a call and he can hook you up with whatever you need. So I'll uh, try to remember to put a phone number up for that. Um, something else I wanted to talk about was last year I did a video on building a metal conduit trellis. Dandy, it'll never rot, super strong. The nylon netting that I did by hand is still uh, just as firm, secure, and it's not rotting out. Um, even after I left them up all winter long. Now, if you're not, uh, if you don't have as much time, you want to just throw something together uh, or throw some netting together. Wally World had these the other day, and so I picked up a few. This is trellis netting. It's pre made, it's five foot by 15 foot. I think I paid a little over $5 for it. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the metal conduit trellises that I already have and I'm going to leave a, uh, a gap in between and I'm going to uh, run this through the gap and make my uh, trellising go further that way. Uh, this would probably be ideal for my cucumbers for example or for runner beans things like that. So I'm going to use this this year along with uh, the trellises I've already made. The one downside to using this is you can't adjust the netting like you can if you do it by hand and loop it around the way I showed you in the metal conduit trellis video. But you also don't have to spend an hour and a half out there making netting. So there's trade-offs, but they can be good ones. But if you want an easy way to just throw some netting up on your trellises, that's the thing to do right there. Something else that I wanted to share with you is, you remember last week we did the video on making a convertible raised bed greenhouse that you could put up, take down real easy. We had issues putting together the uh, grabber clips the uh, made out of PVC pipe. You'll remember that we used gray three-quarter inch pipe. Um, and I recommended that you get schedule 200 three-quarter inch to go over your half inch. Well, I went out to uh, see Reaganite Senior earlier today and he had already done that. And once you put the material over the pipe, if you use the same type or, you know, the gray three-quarter inch, you can't hardly get it on. We had to use channel locks. The 200 is a snap, <laughs> literally. And there's enough there's enough space there where you could actually come in from one side and then take take a piece from the other side and double it over so that you had two pieces no problem so you schedule 200 for the grabber clips and I think you'll be uh, much more happy and it's a lot easier to put on take off and all of that as a matter of fact this is pretty thin material here but I'm gonna I'm gonna quadruple it okay I got four layers of that material here let's see how she does no problem at all look at that one more thing if you decide to get the boogie blue water filter from boogie brew uh, use the $39 link on my website and you'll save uh, 
I think they're regularly 50 or $55, something like that. But if you'll uh, get it off of there, they're also going to send you a bag, a small bag of their compost tea mix. And I have heard really good things about this. It'll, uh, you can use it to uh, brew five gallons of fresh uh, boogie brew, and then uh, you actually will dilute that in a 10 to 1 basis in your watering can uh, to go water your plants with. But you'll get that absolutely free. So, so that's a good deal there too. But uh, that's what's going on this week. I'm just kind of waiting out the weather. It's uh, raining again hard outside, I see. But uh, hopefully, here in a couple of days, I'll be able to get everything in the ground, get them out of the red solo cups, and uh, get this garden going. In the meantime, I can work on the blog, work on the Facebook page, and uh, have a chance to say hi to y'all and, and show you some of the stuff that I got going on here. So that's going to do it for now. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing, and thank you very much for your support. It is very much appreciated. Have a great spring, y'all.